They're off. Antron's car waters toward the center of the racetrack, and it's Austin Brock. 364 one at 336 miles an hour. Hey, Ron, I just wanted to congratulate you on a great career in drag racing. You brought on a wealth of experience and knowledge to our race team that helped us succeed to the point that we were able to get in the 2022 season. You ended your career on a high note with a win in Top Fuel in Pomona, and I can't wait to see what your future holds as you retire with your wife in Huntington Beach. Enjoy your retirement, and thank you for everything that you did for John Force Racing, Montana Brand, and Rocky Mountain Twix. Talk to you later. Right. How about 3.850, 334 miles an hour for John Force. Can you say track record? Three veterans and an unlikely underdog take each other on right now. McIntyre smokes the tires, and it's going to be John Force. 391.4, 328.86 miles an hour. John Forrest collects his 155th career victory, and he does so back-to-back -back years at Charlotte, North Carolina. Both cars making it to the finish line, and it will be Robert Height. It's one big team effort, and you can really see that Jimmy Proc, Chris Cunningham, the whole Auto Club group, they worked really hard over the winter, and it's coming together. You know how hard it is to win one of these, much less two in a row? Brittany Force, 033 in the Christmas tree, and Brittany goes 3709 at 335.48 miles an hour. Sonoma's always been on my bucket list. It's one of my wins that I've always wanted to get. It's, it's almost a home track for me. I grew up at this racetrack, you know, watching my dad. Uh, running Super Comp, running eight field. Sonoma, winner, Brittany Forrest. <laughs> A red light start for Wilkerson. Robert Hyde doubles down for John Force Racing, picks up his 60th career victory in his seventh Wally of the 2022 season. Nothing short of exemplary. And holding the Wally for the seventh win of this season. Oh, it's it's been amazing. Uh, you just you, it's been a dream come true. I mean, we worked hard all winter. I mean, and focus. This whole Auto Club team, you could just see it. They're they're focused, and you, you just never any doubt. Everybody's really happy and having fun. We're gonna have some fun tonight too. But you know what, uh, 60 wins, it's a big number. And there's one, one common denominator. That's the Auto Club. They've been here for every single one of them. Can't do it without them. Uh, Chevrolet, most of them. Uh, this is crazy. Power Solar, but my little girl turned 18 last week. She said to go get her a trophy. It is the final round of Top Fuel Eliminator here at the final running of the NHRA Spring Nationals. Brittany Force, 041 reaction time. Cylinders going out at the finish line. Stripe, it's Force on a whole shot. I love Houston, and you know, it's winning here with this team, with, with our teams over the years. We, we won in back to back, 18 and 19. One followed a terrible wreck of mine, and only like four races later did we win. And it was an emotional win for me because I didn't know if we'd ever get back. And then we came on in 19 with a Advanced Auto Parts team and David Grubnick and Max Savage and all those guys. And now I'm here with them today celebrating another win. And it's just, it's incredible to be able to do it. Here in Houston, it's the final race. This Monster Energy team, we wanted to go out on top and we did it here to close out Houston. So thank you to the fans. Going into the 2022 season, I have high expectations. I feel like we've put together an all-star crew chief lineup with Joe Barlam leading the charge and Ron Tobler and we're putting together a really cool crew. I even have my brother Thomas, he's gonna do the clutch on the car, and my other brother Sam, he's gonna come to the first few races and do clutch with Thomas. So I'm really looking forward to that. That's It's gonna be a family affair out here. Two hot shots in their 20s here in the final round. Austin Brock, the Montana brand, Rocky Mountain Twist Machine. A 49 and a 50 line, who's got the horsepower? It is gonna be Justin Ash. 
Ashley. Austin, it was still a heck of an opening weekend for you and your effort, especially considering you guys found out not so long ago you'd be racing here this weekend. They definitely know we're here now, and uh, now we got, what, 23 more events to go uh, try and get it done. Thank you, Frank Teagues, for giving me another opportunity uh, to do this. What a final round at Buddy Car, and it's Robert Hyde for the first time in Norwalk. 394 for 327 miles an hour. I think it's awesome. I'm, I'm so proud of this team. Uh, they've worked so hard. AAA, everybody behind us. Chevrolet, Cornwell Tools was here with us, but AAA of Ohio this weekend was a big deal. It shows that we're legit here, and we're here to win, but you know what? We've got two weeks to get ready for Denver and go out there and try to sweep the swing, and that, that's exactly what this Auto Club team's gonna do. I've had so, so much fun this week being with my family on the road, and we just had a great time. I, I'm not ready for it to end. Yeah! It has been a wild day of action here at the Four Wide Nationals. Steve Torres is 39, swinging with him, and it's Brittany Force. Wow! Top Fuel final in Vegas. She just snapped the 34 reaction time off on him, and at the stripe, it's Brittany Force on a hole shot. Why not? And Brittany with a whole shot victory to take the win, her 16th career win, fifth this season, sweeping Las Vegas. Vegas has been a very good place to you. This is your third career win. It shows you that Pomona is going to be exciting. I knew it would come down to Pomona, and uh, it's going to be just a thrill for everybody. Nice, 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 368 and a 368. How about Austin Proc goes to the top, 334 miles an hour. You know, it, it was a really long night and thank you to all the fans for staying out and uh, you know waiting to see that deal. But to win this 15 grand for my Montana brand Rocky Mountain Twist team is unbelievable. It's been a trying year, everybody's been busting their ass and uh, it paid off tonight. So hopefully this will stick for uh, you know the rest of the weekend. And to get a number one qualifier, you know, that's a dream of mine. So uh, checked another one off the list this season, and let's keep her going. They leave almost dead even. What a final round at Funny Car. And it goes to Robert Height, another 390, 3907, 328. Robert Height collects career victory number 56. The final round of Top Fuel Eliminator at this wild Virginia Nationals at Virginia Motorsports Park. They leave identically. They get to the finish line stripe. It's Brittany Force, 377-0, 334 miles an hour. It's a John Force Racing double up. And if there's any doubt, and I don't think there was, these guys and girls are for real. How about 3.6, 4, 1, 338.94 miles an hour. Brittany just went 297.94 to the eighth mile, goes to number one, sets the record. Been an exciting year, uh, 2022, not just about racing with winning championships, but my daughter Courtney and Graham Rahal have a new baby. Of course, we've had Harlan now uh, going on two years, and we had Tinley, the new baby. And you know what? She saw her first NHRA drag race. I don't know if she understands it all. I'm still trying to figure it out. But I gotta tell you, she was there at Pomona when Brittany won the championship in Top Fuel, driving the Monster Energy Flavor Pack. It was exciting. And uh, uh, who knows where the future goes. Six three hundred thirty-one miles an hour. Robert Height goes to the top. It's going to be a clean run down to the top end, and it's going to be Austin Proc. Un
Unbelievable! By 48 ten thousandths of a second. Austin Brock, Jimmy's son, has already won in top fuel, so John Force Racing is looking to add another famed double up to their resume, sweeping both of the nitro categories. The Auto Club Camaro now for height is moving in. The dramatic final round of Funny Car. A red light start for Wilkerson. Robert Height doubles down for John Force Racing, picks up his 60th career victory in his seventh Wally of the 2022 season. And John Force went on to win. we have seen scarcely this year. Force has got to bring the car to a stop. So the safety safari, of course, immediately on the scene. We watch again right side of your screen. You can see wow. raw fuel coming out before the explosion. So more than likely, whether the engine was over boosted, there's something mechanically wrong with it. The safety safari, these people are right there sticking their hands in the fire just to get me. And that's why you love them. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we're going to win this thing. Okay, we're going to win this thing, or we're going to go down swinging. It's going to be a clean run down to the top end, and it's going to be Austin Proc. Unbelievable! By 48 ten thousandths of a second, they have buried every negative word that has been said about them. A 75 beats a 78. Oh, it's awesome. You know, we're right back in the hunt of this thing. Uh, we can win the championship now. You come out and you win Reading, you're back in it. Nice, nice, nice. How about Austin Proc goes to the top, 334 miles an hour. It's been a trying year. Everybody's been busting their ass, and uh, it paid off tonight. And to get a number one qualifier, you know, that's a dream of mine. So uh, checked another one off the list this season, and let's keep her going. They're off. Antron's car waters toward the center of the racetrack, and it's Austin Proc. You know, we came out swinging when it counted, and, uh, you know, Honestly, I just wish we would have got a better start to the countdown. Uh, we probably could have won this deal. So this car's running great. I can't wait for next year. Let's go. 2022 is an amazing year for the Auto Club team. You know, we didn't get the championship, but you know, career best eight wins. Uh, didn't lose first round, not one time. Uh, 12 final rounds. Honestly, I think this is probably the best funny car season anybody's had in, in 25 years. So it shows just a lot of hard work, dedication, and uh, you know, focus on everybody's part. From the crew chiefs down to the crew members and the driver, uh, we really gelled and meshed as a team. And you know, when, when the car wasn't right, I, I seemed to drive good. And then when I wasn't driving good, the car was there and it was perfect. So uh, gives us a lot of uh, confidence moving into 23 and uh, a, a bar that's set really high that uh, we're gonna go after and try to even do better. Twenty twenty two is an exciting year, especially for my daughter Autumn. Uh, we bought her a super comp car, and she got to race her first division race in Las Vegas, and then her first national event in Pomona. And uh, you can see that she loves this and wants to continue. So, the she's a third generation racer. and Brittany Force is a two-time NHRA Top Fuel World Champion. 
a 3704 for Antron, but more importantly for Brittany Force, the completion of a second world championship. When people hear the name Brittany Force, what do you want them to think? I want them to remember this day here in Pomona with this Monster Energy Flavor Pack team, David Grubnick, Max Savage, every single one of my guys, we have been working at this all season long. We never gave up and then we struggled in the countdown and we recovered and we recovered when we needed to in Vegas and here today in Pomona. And this just seems unreal. I can't believe we're here. I have to thank every single one of my guys, our sponsors, Monster Energy, Flavor Pack, Auto Club, Chevy, Peak, all of them, Cornwall Tools. We wouldn't be here without them today. And I'm just, I'm so proud of everybody and it just seems surreal right now. I've been professionally racing since 1974 when I went down under to Australia. It's been exciting and championships along the way. Of course, I won 16, but all my other drivers have been evolving. The 29th champion in the history of NHRA Mellow Yellow Top Fuel Racing is Brittany Force. All right, with the second championship. 2019 Funny Car World Champion, Robert Hyde. And this year was number 22, and Brittany won it in Top Fuel, driving the Monster Energy Flavor Pack Top Fuel Dragster. Pretty exciting time, and uh, let's see if we can win some more.